in the enchanting world of Middle-earth, crafted by the imagination of J.R.R. Tolkien, lies a legendary medal that has captured the hearts of readers and moviegoers alike. Yes, I am talking about Mithril. A rare and wondrous material, Mithril weaves its magic throughout Tolkien's epic tales, boasting qualities unparalleled by any other substance. But is there a real-life equivalent to this mythical metal? Join me as we embark on a journey to discover the secrets of Mithril, both in its fantastical origins and its fascinating real-world counterparts. To find answers, we must first immerse ourselves in the world of Middle-earth and embark on a journey towards the mines of Moria. What made Mithril so special was that it was extremely rare by the end of the Third Age, as it was only found in khazad However, the dwarves mined for Mithril too greedily and too deep, which ultimately released the Balrog, also known as Durin's Bane, which destroyed the kingdom of the dwarves at khazad meaning that the only source of Mithril in the entire Middle-earth was forever cut off. To the, the impact of Mithril on Tolkien's world was profound. This extraordinary metal was skillfully crafted into armor and precious objects, bestowing upon its possessors unmatched protection and prestige. Notably, Bilbo Baggins' Mithril shirt, a gift from Thorin Oakenshield, proved pivotal in saving him during his perilous encounters in The Hobbit. And later, Frodo Baggins, wearing this same Mithril shirt, found himself protected from certain doom when pierced by an orc spear. Mithril, being the versatile material it is, was also used to make a certain alloy called Ithildin, which translates to Star Moon. This was often used to decorate gateways and portals, and was visible only by starlight or moonlight. The best example of this are the Gates of Moria, Mithril's physical properties are very well summarized by the following Gandalf quote. The wealth of Moria was not in gold or jewels, the toys of the dwarves, nor in iron, their servant. Its worth was ten times that of gold, and now it is beyond price, for little is left above ground, and even the orcs dare not to delve here for it. Mithril, all folk desired it. It could be beaten like copper, and polished like glass, and the dwarfs could make of it a metal, light and yet harder than tempered steel. Its beauty was like that of common silver, but the beauty of mithril did not tarnish or grow dim. Even though Tolkien provides us with a very vivid description of mithril as a material in Middle-earth, in real life, he never revealed his source of inspiration in terms of what materials he borrowed properties from in order to create this powerful ore for his iconic novels. All right then, keep your secrets. Therefore, let us transition into the real world, where we shall explore what materials, whether in the form of elements of minerals, could have inspired Tolkien into crafting Mithril as an important piece in his epic novels. The allure of mythical metals is not confined to Tolkien's tales alone. Throughout human history, legends, folklore, modern fiction, they have woven tales of extraordinary materials that possess strength, beauty, and otherworldly properties. In fact, there is a website that you can visit, I will leave the link in the description below, that details many of these metals that have been included in mythology, in TV shows, in comics, in fantasy and many more. Okay, going back to Mithril. In the real world, we don't have access to Mithril's exact match, but certain metals do share some fascinating properties. Among them, let's explore a few of these remarkable metals, including silver, platinum, titanium, and the intriguing realm of intermetallic compounds. Now, 
Regarding silver and platinum, beginning with silver, it has been known for its natural brilliance and malleability. Silver has been treasured by humans for centuries. However, one big problem is that it can't be compared with mithril in terms of strength. It's simply not strong enough. However, silver exhibits excellent antimicrobial properties, making it ideal for medical applications in the modern era, such as wound dressings and surgical instruments. Regarding platinum, it is very similar to mithril in terms of its rarity. Platinum is a precious metal found in limited quantities on Earth. In, in modern era, it boasts remarkable resistance to corrosion and high melting points, making it dispensable in catalytic converters, electrical components, and jewelry. However, if we seek a closer parallel to mithril's lightweight strength, titanium emerges as a true modern wonder. Discovered in the late 18th century, titanium's property soon catapulted it to the forefront of advanced materials. In terms of lightness and strength, titanium is known for its extraordinary strength to weight ratio. Despite being as strong as steel, it is about 45% lighter, making it an ideal choice for aerospace applications such as aircraft frames and spacecraft components. It is also highly resistant to corrosion. Just like mithril's non-tarnishing quality, titanium exhibits exceptional corrosion resistance, making it highly valuable in marine environments, chemical processing plants, and medical implants. It also has a high biocompatibility, which ensures it is well suited for medical devices such as joint replacement, dental implants, and bone plates. Now, if we want to go beyond these familiar metals and elements, we can start talking about intermetallic compounds, which have revealed their hitting strengths in recent years, which offer an exciting glimpse into a new frontier of material science. Of these, there are many examples such as nickel-based superalloys, which, containing nickel and other elements, exhibit exceptional strength and heat resistance. We can also talk about shape memory alloys, which are known to come back to their original shape after going through deformation. There are also some aluminum lithium alloys, which offer a combination of lightness and strength, which make them very suitable for modern applications such as aerospace structures and reducing weight without compromising performance. In conclusion, while we may not find an exact replica of mithril in the real world, the pursuit of advanced materials has led to remarkable discoveries. From the ancient allure of silver and platinum to the modern wonders of titanium and intermetallic compounds, human ingenuity continues to breach the gap between myth and reality. As we continue to unlock the secrets of these extraordinary materials, we open the door to a future filled with possibilities, where fiction and science intertwine to create wonders beyond imagination. And that is an encouraging thought. I hope you liked the video. Please tell me in the comments what mineral, metal, or compound from mythology or fantasy you'd like to see next. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing.